Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 5. Today we're going to be doing a trailer breakdown for Episode 18 titled Godspeed. I'm super, super, super excited to talk about this trailer, but mainly to talk about the episode because there is so much to look forward to, but sadly it's not going to be on for about four weeks sometime, you know, mid-April or so, just after April 15th or so, I believe. So... I don't know the exact date, but we're going to wait a while, essentially, is what I'm trying to say. Which kind of sucks, but we have a lot to break down, and there's a lot to talk about. So, we're going to be breaking down the trailer, but then there's also a rumour as to who potentially may be playing Godspeed. We know, at the moment, there's only a stunt double underneath. He played the stunt double for Zoom, and I think various other characters on the show. So, that's not to, you know, be looked into right now, but I think if they're going to continue with Godspeed... They need to, you know, when they pull off the mask for the first time, they're going to have someone. And there is a rumour going out that we will actually talk about later. You know, whether I agree or disagree with this rumour, you know, whether I think it would be good or not. Because I don't know if it's true or not. So, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. And subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so let's break down this trailer shot by shot. So the first shot of the trailer is of Nora, and Nora is, again, in the time vault. She's still there, and I don't know how long she's going to be in it, but we know in this episode Nora and Barry are going to go to the future together, while well, present-day Nora is, and we're going to see, I think, various glimpses of her life in the past for her, but obviously in the future for us, so there is going to be a lot of time travelling in this episode, and we're going to be experiencing different you know, iterations of her past and whatever goes down and that's how Godspeed links into it. So, let's break this down. So, first shot, like I said, Nora's in the time vault and in the voice overlay, Iris says, she's our daughter. And Barry in return, as you can see in the next shot, says, she lied to us since the first day she got here and he is distraught. You see that his face right there and you saw at the end of the episode last episode when he literally just snapped her up and put her in the time vault because he cannot trust her and I just love that reaction because it was so quick and snappy and it really really just purely affected him so deeply because you know he's his greatest enemy reverse flash killed his mum so obviously he's not going to trust Nora and I think Iris is going to be a bit more on her side because in fact she is their supposed daughter even though that's not been confirmed or not really but so I think Iris is going to be a bit defensive although she's 100% not going to agree with working with Thorn but you can see this shot again Iris is talking to Barry in the same scene and it seems like this is right after Barry's you know snapped her up and put her in the time vault but then we move on to the next shot and this next shot is in the future and Nora's got her ponytail that we saw in season 4 so this is from a different time period and it seems like we're either going to be following her around or we're going to be you know looking from Barry and present day Nora's perspective looking back at these sort of time periods that she's been in and she's whatever she's doing at this point and it seems like she's maybe in the Flash Museum because it does kind of look a bit warehousey and she looks kind of very innocent and then in the next shot after this we see Nora's diary and obviously they still have Nora's diary because she just got put in the time vault and she had no time obviously to grab it or to destroy it or anything so Ralph says this has everything since the day she arrived and we see this shot of Ralph holding it as he sort of looks at everyone sort of sneakily he's like yeah we should probably look at it and Barry in return as you can see in this next shot he says read it from the beginning so they're going to read everything try and find out about what actually happened like in the meantime so get some context as to why she's working with reverse flash and i think this is all going to lead to them go into the future world just barry and nora so that nora can actually prove to barry that she's not nefarious she's not a villain she's not doing and working with reverse flash for evil means but she's actually still a hero and she's not been lying on that front so also in the trailer, they put some title cards, it says, can the truth set her free? And so I think this is very vital as to what's going to be happening in this episode, because I think the periods that we're going to be time traveling is going to be with Barry and Nora, and I think Nora is going to show Barry that she is a hero and she's done all these different things, and you know, that will lead into Godspeed, we'll talk about Godspeed in a sec, don't worry about that. 
and I think the truth will set her free essentially in this episode. Okay, so we move on to the next shot and we see Nora as she's in the Flash Museum and I think she's in the Hall of Villains or whatever they called it and she's looking at Reverse Flash's suit. So this is definitely in there, it's not like her looking at Reverse Flash but we don't know what period of time Reverse Flash got put into prison but this is definitely the mannequin that we saw a few episodes back and so Caitlin says she must have felt completely alone. And Barry, in reply to this, says, as you can see in this shot, he says, but she wasn't. So he's obviously referring to Reverse Flash. And so I, th I feel like Caitlyn and Iris from this trailer do have some sort of sympathy. And I think Barry really has no sympathy for Nora. And that's why Nora is going to have to take him to the future to find out about all this stuff. And so we move on to the next shot. And this next shot has Nora. As she is holding this ring and it's a flash ring and presumably this is in the flash museum and I'm guessing this is reverse flash's ring and I'm, I don't know if it will have the suit in or not but it seems like that is definitely his ring not Barry's ring from the future and then we go on to another shot and this shot is new and you might be like huh, I'm pretty sure we've seen this already well it's just a very similar setup to what happened before and it was really nicely implanted because, you know, at first I rewatched the episode, then I realized, and I rewatched some of the other episodes recently. And you don't realize, but the lighting in the background has changed. It's, it's yellow in this shot, it used to be yellow, and last episode it was red. So it's changed, and I think this is all due to the timer, and it's all sort of lining up, you know, because he's on red timer. Because I don't know what's going to happen when the timer goes, we've got some theories. But I think the lighting corresponds to that and so he's sort of in the amber level right here and I'm guessing this is probably one of the first times Nora has met Reverse Flash because he's in prison right here. He's got the yellow light so this is presumably back in time although in the future for Barry and the team. So is Barry spying on what's happening here or is it actually Barry talking to Reverse Flash? I am not sure. I think it could be Barry but I think it's more likely to be Nora and maybe this is Nora meeting him for the first time, I don't know, but I'm excited to see it, it's a nice new shot. And then we move on to the next shot, and this is the best shot of the trailer, and this excites me so much, because this is very much so the car park we've been talking about recently, because according to some leaks that came from Paige's source a couple of videos ago when he made that, they officially confirmed that in this car park scene, there is another speedster with Nora, and Godspeed is there, and Godspeed kills this speedster, and the speedster is called Leo, she's the Flash from Earth-9 in the comics, and she's going to be in this episode, and she's going to die. And so this is the scene you see right here where Nora is screaming, her face is absolutely distraught, and she is most definitely, 100%, seeing Godspeed kill Leo. There is no other reason for it and this is definitely in the car park so this is our first look at what Godspeed's going to be doing in the episode although they haven't revealed it in the trailer like what exactly he looks like I'm pretty sure they're aware that we've all seen it online seen what Godspeed will look like and we're all super happy and I just cannot wait to see Godspeed and I think the reason why he's probably not in the trailer is due to maybe the CGI remember this episode doesn't come out for four weeks so they've got some time maybe they want to really perfect it and make it look absolutely amazing so maybe in a few weeks time maybe like two weeks we will get a trailer or maybe like three weeks I don't know and maybe we'll see our first look at Godspeed or maybe they release a poster that would be really cool as well but yeah this is most definitely Godspeed actually fighting and killing Leah so she's been actually fighting alongside Nora presumably but definitely Nora's been fighting Godspeed as we saw from those set photos recently and it all leads up to this where they all run into here and you can see Nora's got her gauntlet on so although she's got like a tracksuit on maybe this is early in her sort of career as a speedster she has the gauntlet but she you know doesn't have her suit or anything so maybe that is very early on and that is maybe when Nora from present day shows Barry who the hell this Godspeed person is and maybe Godspeed is actually a new addition to the timeline maybe the timeline has changed and maybe Godspeed is that new addition that maybe will change her a bit I don't know but then we see Nora in this next shot 
hiding, and this is most definitely, definitely hiding from Godspeed, because she's in the same tracksuit, she's hiding, she's got the ponytail and everything, and she looks absolutely distraught and fearful to the very soul and very depths of herself, and so I love this shot as well, this is an amazing shot. But then we move on to the last scene in the trailer, and it's of Reverse Flash saying, Run, Nora, run. The classic, I cannot wait for this scene, and it's in close up, you can just see him and it's just barely lit, you know, it's all dark in the background. Maybe this is one of the first times, or maybe, I'm guessing this is where Nora goes to fight Godspeed. Run, Nora, run. Oh my god, I cannot wait. So, the final thing that I wanted to talk about was the rumoured casting of Godspeed, and this has not been confirmed. Take it 100% with a grain of salt, but there is a rumour going around that Michael Rosenbaum, who played Lex Luthor on Smallville, is supposedly going to play Godspeed. So this is a rumour, and so I'm just going to quickly give you my thoughts on if this turns out to be true, which I guess like 70-80% likely he's not going to be Godspeed because this is just a rumour and there's no confirmation or anything. I would be fine with this, but I have to say I think maybe he's a little bit too old. He's 46 and I would presume that they normally go for, well, if you look at the track record, they actually go for, you know, younger villains. And I think Godspeed in the comics, if you look at him and look at August Hart, he's about Barry's age. So if they're going to, you know, work together and so on, I would think they would be more along the lines of Grant Gustin's age, you know, late 20s, early 30s. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I would just picture Godspeed as being younger. But I think Michael is a good actor and he could play it, but what do you think? What do you think of this rumour? I, Like I said, I think this is most likely not going to happen, but rumours are rumours and I just wanted to talk about it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe if you're new, and turn on notifications to not miss any videos, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.